Hey everyone, this right irritates me so much. What irritates me is when it, when parents use their kids for content, for money, for views, for fame. Like, whew, I can't, I can't understand it because it's a lot of people on TikTok. Use them for kids for money. Like, is this chick? She don't deserve to be called a mother. But I'm be- I've been painting so on canvas. I'm a painter, by the way, not professional, but I like painting. But anyway, is this chick? on TikTok that threw her two-year-old baby down the steps for some freaking, freaking views. I, oh, uh, I can't stand that. Like, I, you can't look at that video and just not get mad. Like, she legit threw a baby down the steps. So anyway, she was standing on the steps. Her daughter was standing on the steps next to her. And she legit just threw her daughter down the steps for views. What's going through parents' minds? It's like... And then you have this mom found yeah, this mom. She had three she have three kids and she make this skits where her kids are arguing, fighting with each other before they come into school. Before they go to school. And I say something. I wrote in the comment section of a video. You're pathetic. I legit say. You're, I legit say you're pathetic. Stop using your kids for views. She didn't say nothing whatever. But it's another chick. That looks like Sia. I can't stand Sia. Because, like, chick, we already saw what you look like, what your face look like. Stop hiding. So, anyway, it's the chick on TikTok that has a son that don't know his own sexuality. He says he's a boy or whatever. He's seven years old. Six or seven years old. Anyway, he acts like that. So she used that to get things. She used that to she used that to get things. She used her son acting like that to for views, money, whatever. When I say to get things, I mean he got invited to a baseball game because how he acts. Like, people say it was his dancing skills that got him invited. Come on. Got the BS. You think people in Hollywood really want a little boy on to go to a baseball team, big baseball game because of his dancing skills. Stop being stupid. No, it wasn't his dancing skills. It was how he acted. He act like that. And I'm not trying to be mean. That's the truth. And I just can't stand how the mom 
use her son. So I'd say something in her comment. I'd say, you know, she using her son because how he acts. You need to stop. And um, obviously people came to her back and say, Oh, she don't use her son. She don't use her son. Are y'all dumb or stupid? Big one. And anyway, with the and then moving to YouTube, you all know this is Harvey Pinkham. So their oldest son had pneumonia. They sounded so happy that he had pneumonia. I had pneumonia when I was four months old. It's not fun. It's really not fun. And y'all, you could hear how they, how the balance sounded. The balance didn't sound in distress or nothing. They sounded happy that the son had pneumonia. And y'all all know I don't like that. This is Harvey Bingham. Excuse me, family. We got the fake. They act like they act like they have the best kids, the best lives, the best marriage. They fake. They put on a front. I can't stand them. I can't stand moments in general for obvious reasons. Look it up what moments do and everything like that. Um most of them the reason why one reason why I can't stand moments because most of them believe in having intercourse with kids. And I can't accept that. I don't support that. And if you support that, whatever. If you support it, F you. Literally, I don't support having intercourse with kids. Get the mail we do kids. Look it up if you don't believe me. And then the Yari family. Oh my goodness, I can't stand them too. Because that's what I don't get. Their oldest daughter that living in the house um, want her ill spills. She's 16 years old. Why she can't get her ill spills? And what I don't get is you want to keep her looking like a little girl. But at the same time, you want to marry her out because moments want to marry their daughters out. Meaning, have their daughter get married at an early age. So make us a mind. You want your oldest daughter to be young, to look young or do you want to marry your daughter out? I mean, because I remember in one video, she got a haircut. She got a haircut, and the father didn't like the haircut because it looked too grown. Well, she's 16 years old. And I want to talk about homeschooling. Now, I don't, I, I like homeschooling. So it's not like I don't like homeschooling. I was homeschooled for a year and everything like that. But I don't think that they take homeschooling 
seriously as they should. Because, like, every week or every other week, they go on a trip or they go on vacation. Which I really don't care. Go on vacations or trips. But please take schooling seriously. They don't take schooling seriously. And I think that they want to... They wanted the kids to be homeschooled for the parents' benefit, not their benefit. Because if you see, some of the kids want to go to school and everything like that, but um, not my kids. So if you, not my kids. So, anyway, I just want to say that I can't stand family vlogging. I can't stand when parents use their kids for money. I can't stand all of that. I'm so happy that there's another person feel the same way I feel called the Dad Channel's podcast. I watch, I'm watching him right now on TV. But on YouTube. But, um, yeah, because he can't stand it, too. I really can't stand it. Like, stop using your, stop using your kids for money and for views. <sighs> and one last thing. Stop using your kids, trans kids. To tell, to tell a statement, like to say a statement, to make a statement. I can't stand those videos. I can't stand seeing those videos. You using your trans kids to make a statement. Let them have freaking pop privacy. And everything like that. I can't stand it. I, I can't stand it. So anyway, I hope you all like this video. Like, comment, subscribe.